so guys Vito here and um, today I'd like to make a video about my sensitivities and my graphics and all that and I'll explain to you step by step how to use gyroscope perfectly so let's get started at first thing first let's go to settings and let's check out my basics and we have gyroscope always on and jump climb on separate and we have slide disable of course it's for noobs and i have my first person perspective camera view on 97 which is perfectly fine for me um yeah this is all normal and graphics uh my phone can handle balance and extreme uh balance and extreme makes it easier to see the enemies in the grass a lot easier if you have it on soft as well um, it doesn't really affect my fps because i'm on iphone 11 pro max so my device can handle it but if it can just put on smooth and then i prefer a smooth extreme soft it balances not good enough and then i have anti lighting off shadows off and then i have it on fourth one not because i'm colorblind but it just looks better and the brightness is all the way up so yeah, and then I have it on notch, of course, because yeah, I'm on iPhone. And this is my controller. So basically, I'm using four finger claw plus gyroscope. So this is my left index finger is specifically made for shoot button, and then I have the joystick. And then I also have my right index finger with crouching and um, aiming. And then the rest is all my thumb which why like I lean with it and switch guns, throw nades, heal, everything, jump, switch the FPP, it's all my thumbs and everything else is just, yeah, just there. Um, as you see, I have my FPP and TPP layout the same, of course, which is how it should be. And as it goes for vehicles, I prefer this one. The first one, uh, it's a lot more basic. So, yeah, this is my sensitivities. Um, I'm not really gonna explain them right now why I have it like that because it just is my, it works for me. But the most important part here is the gyroscope. Okay, so as you see, I use high sensitivity, which allows me to control recoil even better and long range. That's why my aim is good long range, above average. Um, these two, first person no scope and third person no scope should be on 300. And for close range, you should not put your thumbs down. You should rather use it to hip fire the enemy even more accurately. And then I have the rest on 300 as well. Like I said before, it's really good for long range. Um, as it go for as it goes for forex, it's a little bit different because you c you can put a three hundred. I've done it before. I've used it. It works, but you can lead your shots if the enemy is moving. So that's why I I suggest you put it on somewhere at two hundred and seven, and then you go training room, and you try it out. If it's too high, you put it lower. If it's too low, you put it higher. Okay, just try to keep it between two seven and 205 you know just keep it between and you should find your perfect sensitivity for the 4x as it goes for the 6x and 8x it's specifically made for sniping so i put the target around the head and then i just move my phone a little bit right into the head uh, pickup i don't really use that doesn't really matter and scope i have the green one green um green crosshair alongside with uh, red dot sight which is also green and all graphic is green and canter sight doesn't really matter to me i rarely use it 2x is green and 3x is green it's it depends on which color you like for me specifically it's green so and a quick sco quick scope switch should be on enable of course and audio is yeah it's just yeah, i'm using ultra depends on what headphones you're using of course and I'm gonna put some music on now and go training room and just pray. Enjoy, guys.
있다. 아, 네, 할줄 알았네. 